Welcome back to another episode from my Let's Build a Zoo series. In the last episode, guys, we built the Warden exhibit. Let's head on down and say hello to Bob. I haven't seen him for a few days, so let's go say good day. So if we head on down and try and be a little bit quiet, see if we can get a good shot of Bob and see what he's been up to. So he's just been having some fun with the uh, with the bats and the uh, <laughs> and the zombie spawner here. So let's see if we can get another shot of Bob. Whoa! No, Bob. Naughty Bob. There we go. A couple of friends for you, Bobby. You're so loud, Bob. Just miss me, Bob. Guys, Bob's pretty loud. So in a way, I'm kind of regretting <laughs> regretting building this uh, this warden exhibit. So in today's episode, guys, I thought we could make a start on the aquarium part of the zoo. Now, let's have a bit of a recap of what we've done. We've done the polar bear exhibit here. That was the first exhibit we did. And then we went and did the strider exhibit, which is this one here. Hang on a second. Where's all the striders gone? Uh, hello? Uh-oh. I guess that's, uh, that's a job we've got to do. Anyway, that's a job for another day. Then we, what did we build next? The parrot exhibit maybe? I think that was the next one. Yeah, so we built the parrot exhibit here, which we've got a few, pa don't tell me all the animals have been. No, the parrots are still in there. Excellent. Sorry, I thought for a second that all the animals had disappeared maybe with a 1.19.2 update or something. So after the parrot exhibit, we built the, hmm, what was next? Uh, it must have been the ravages actually. And I haven't said hello to you guys in a little while, but, um, g'day, Ravager number one and Ravager number two. So after, hey, hello, hey, calm down, little fella. So after that, we built the fox exit. Where are all the foxes? Where, oh, I was so scared that you disappeared on me and you were painful. So I really didn't want to, um, go and have to get some more. And then after that, I believe we built the phantom exhibit, maybe? So I haven't said hello to these guys in a little while, so um, let's have a quick hello and see what they're up to. They're still in here existing, so that's good. Hi guys, missed me? Yeah, I missed you too. Oh, that's a scary sight, isn't it? Let's get out of here, actually. No thanks, I'll leave you guys to it. I didn't miss you that much. Okay, so what? after that, I think we... Uh, let me have a look at this. I haven't been back in the zoo for a little while because I've been doing the hardcore series, but... I believe the frogs were the next one. So these guys are just hanging out, I'm assuming. Hopefully they haven't disappeared either, but it's nice seeing you little guys. Haven't seen you in a little while. Hey, buddy. Oh, it's good to be home. So as I was saying, guys, I think it's time to start on the aquarium part of the zoo. I was thinking, you know, you could do an axolotl exhibit, a drowned exhibit, a tropical fish exhibit. But then I got thinking, why not build an underwater aquarium hotel? Hear me out. You could have the rooms of the hotel with a big fish tank for a window. Like there are aquarium hotels around the world. So that, I was looking up some pictures, kind of inspired me to make it into an aquarium hotel. And I think I've decided on this area here. So if I was to knock out all of this land here, all the way over, and I have, let me fly out here for just a sec. I'm going to knock this piece of land out, and this whole area here gives us a nice warm ocean type area to have as where we would put, I guess, fish tanks and, and windows of the hotel and things like that. So I think that's what I'm going to do to, in today's episode, guys, make a start on the aquarium. I just need a shovel and a pick, and we're going to knock down this whole entire area. Ow. We're going to knock down this whole entire area here, and, uh, yeah, I guess flatten it out and give us a nice blank canvas to start on the aquarium. Let's do a quick little cheeky little time lapse to get rid of all this land.
Okay, well, that was about three hours <laughs> of footage condensed into one minute. Um, that took a little bit longer than I thought it was going to, but uh, I guess that's Minecraft, isn't it? But it's looking pretty sweet, guys. Um, a few trips to the gold farm later, just to repair my tools, obviously. And uh, we have an area that is totally flattened out, and it's looking pretty sweet. So it's all ready for us to start working on the aquarium build and sorting things out. To be honest, I actually, I don't really know what I'm going to do, but I'm just going to build away for a week or two or three. I have no idea how long this is going to take and when I'll bring you guys back. Before I do that, though, I want to show you guys my skin. I've decided to bring back the Harwood skin. I was missing it after the few um, hardcore episodes that I've been doing lately. I, mean, I really just miss the normal hardwood skin, so so it's back to stay, and I'm going to keep it for the Zeus. Whoa, what the? What was that? Hello? Oh. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> what, a, what? I'm inside my body. What is going on here? I'm having technical difficulties, guys, and I... <laughs> I have no idea. What is, what ha <laughs> Okay, um, I'm back. <laughs> anyway guys, so that's the skin. And you also might notice my levels guys, 930. So we're nearly at that thousand, nearly at the thousand. And I will start to celebrate once we get there. So I guess it's time to, ooh, oh, that wasn't a very good flight. I guess it's time to start working on the aquarium. I've been putting it off and putting it off, but I can't put it off any longer. I'll bring you guys back once I've got something to show you. And as I said, I don't know how long this is going to take. Let me get building and we'll see what we can come up with. Okay guys, so progress has been made behind this tree. And I was just looking at the tree thinking, geez, I'm glad I left that up because I would have just had to build another one. But before I show you the progress that I've been, um, very busy working on for the last couple of weeks almost, at least a week and a half. Let me show you what I needed to build in order to uh, <laughs> to build the build. I needed to um, get myself a few of these guys. In the first couple of days of building the, uh, the aquarium hotel, as I'm calling it, I quickly realized that I was going to need a heap of copper. And luckily we've got that amazing copper farm that we built a long time ago now, <laughs> it seems. But um, I quickly realized that I was also going to need a heap of this cyan terracotta. So I got myself a few of these mason guys. I ended up getting three cyan terracotta guys. And I thought while I was at it, I might as well get, might as well get all the terracottas right. So I also needed a good source of quartz. So they were the big three things that I needed, guys. Copper, cyan terracotta, and quartz. And I did not really have a good supply of any of these. So I've been busy down here um, getting these guys leveled up with pumpkins and just trading up with the pumpkins and the melons to get some emeralds so I can trade with these guys to get the cyan terracotta and the quartz. So that's one thing I needed. Let me show you the other thing I needed to build. So I also needed one of these little micro farms, guys. So it's got the four two tall um, flowers and it can... It can um, bone mill all four at the same time. I found a cool little tutorial by uh, a YouTuber by the name of Garden of Eden. So um, I'll leave a link in the description, of course, for um, this farm. It's actually it's actually really, really cool, guys. So there's some hopper mine carts inside those dirt blocks there. And if you flick this lever, it literally does all four at the same time. And it can get stacks upon stacks within a couple of minutes. So it's... Been very, very handy. Cool little easy to build farm. So um, if you're after a two tall flower farm and you want to do all four at the same time, look no further because this thing was pretty sweet. 
So that's very cool, guys. And I also needed uh, the, the blue cornflowers, so um, just for the cyan terracotta for, to get some extra while I was building. So let me show you the farm I built for that one as well. Okay, guys, so I built this little flower farm in the meadows out, oh, I guess it's west of my, is it west? Yeah, it's west. West of the main um, island. So this farm is actually really quite cool. So it's based off of a hypno, uh, hypnotized um, from the Hermitcraft server. He's built this farm a few years back and I've modified it slightly to be, um, to, for, for basically what I wanted to do here. So it's really up in the sky and it only has cornflowers that, um, that spawn in this little patch here. So the way it works is actually quite simple. So let me grab this and turn the farm back on. So it's hooked up to a, a hopper clock here. So I can turn it off and on quite simply by removing the redstone. And it's got five items within this hopper clock. So it actually goes quite quickly. And if we shoot up here, I'll show you how it works. So the water obviously washes it into the hoppers there. And after the five items pass through the hopper clock, uh, the bone meal... Obviously bone meals the grass area here and it just gets the cornflowers and the water triggers at the same time and washes it all down to the hoppers downstairs. So um, the redstone is actually quite simple. It just, it's got a, a torch tower underneath the dispensers there with the waters in, in the water, for the water buckets in all four corners. And it's also a torch tower to the four um, dispensers with all the bone meal in it as well. So uh, the extra seeds I'll just pop in here create more um, bone meal from the composters. And yeah, I've spent a little bit of time here and yeah, I've got a little bit of bone meal from uh, the Skelly farm back at uh, back at the base. But yeah, this has actually been really quite good guys. And it's it's got me stacks upon stacks actually relatively quite quickly. So more than enough, <laughs> more than enough blue dye for, for everything I should need now. So um, really, really simple guys. I'll leave a link in the description. As I said, it was, uh, uh, designed by Hypno from the Hermitcraft server uh, from a couple, of, I think last year or the year before. So um, yeah, check it out if you're after a blue dye farm. But um, yeah, this thing was a was a ripper. So let's head back to base and I'll show you the aquarium hotel. Okay, so here's what we have so far, guys. What do you think? It's pretty cool so far. I must stress it's it's far from done yet, guys. I'm going to build a whole other section out the other side there but um this part of the build is based off um uh, an aquarium in switzerland now it's called the uh, i'm gonna screw this up it's called the aquatus aquarium vivarium i think that's correct it's in switzerland so check it out if you want to see some pictures of the actual aquarium I'm, or i might even put some up on the screen now just to give you guys an idea of my inspiration i guess so if we head on in, let's have a look at what I've done. So basically, this is the hotel part of the aquarium. So I've got this big fish tank in the middle of the um, the hotel lobby, if you if you like. So I've got a few fish in there, a couple of shulker boxes full of fish actually. Um, and I'm not too sure if you guys have the same problem, but they seem to spawn in and just hang around in packs and not do much. And I've also got this bit of Bit of a visual glitch in the glass which isn't great but from the from the main side which is over here the entrance side it actually looks pretty cool and you know i'm actually really really happy with it i've left the top open because um in a minute i think what we're going to do is maybe put some sand up there and grab some turtle eggs we'll have to go find some turtles and breed some turtles i'd like a couple of turtles swimming around in the fish tank i think that would look really really cool so Got some glow lichen around the bottom here and also around the top, which I think adds a little bit of a little bit of difference. It's usually it's just um, what is it? It's a uh, black terracotta with some glow lichen on um, on all four sides of the block. Oh, sorry, on all two sides of the block, if you like. So that looks pretty cool. Um, here's the rest of the entrance. I've got um, a bit of a talk area here that you can sit down and read a magazine and talk before um, you get sort of checked into the hotel. Another little um, sitting area here and another area to read a book or, you know, jump on your laptop and wait for, for the guys to, or do whatever, I guess. You can do whatever you want in here. Here's the sort of reception area that we've got here. And I've also 
I've done the old trick that I did in the um, the zoo entrance where I've got a loom underneath the the cash register and also got the um, the uh, the honey box underneath. So I'm thinking I'll get a couple of villagers in here when I'm finished um, because I don't want to put them in here yet because I'm not sure if it's a hundred percent spawn proof with um, with the lighting everywhere just yet. So um, yeah, so I've got this sort of area over here which. You know, I haven't really finished, to be honest, guys. It's it's not. Um, there's still a lot of details I wanted to do, but I wanted to give you guys something to. I wanted to show you guys something that. <laughs> this took a lot longer than it looks. Uh, trust me, I had a lot of lot of times where I had to rip it whole rip the whole thing down again, and um, and pull it back up uh, <laughs> and build it back up again. But um, I like the little fish little icon. I've got the same icon on both sides. We'll do a bit of a fly around in a sec. Also got this big um, carpet, I guess, near the, the reception here, which I think looks pretty cool. Haven't quite decided what I'm going to do with this area. I was thinking maybe maybe a bar or maybe a stairway that goes up to the top. And I guess what we need to figure out, which I haven't quite figured out yet, is um, what we might do is have the, I guess, a stairway down to you get to your hotel rooms. And in the hotel rooms would be underwater where you would look out into the ocean and have your windows of your hotel room, basically a big fish tank. So a little bit to do and sorting out with that still to go, guys. And right now it's kind of kind of floating on. <laughs> it's not very structurally sound, if you like. It's floating everywhere. If we have a bit of a fly around, I'll also show you what I did with the roof, which looks pretty cool. I'm really happy with this. I've never really done anything like this, but um, it's got the solar panels on the roof and basic, basically some cabling to some, um, I don't know, I guess you'd call them like air conditioners and things like that to, you know, power the, power the hotel and to uh, keep the hotel nice and cool. Um, also got this room in the middle where um, maintenance could get down into the fish tank. Um, so that looks pretty cool. I think that, uh, that sort of makes it a bit more realistic, if you like, if it's got some sort of mechanics behind the actual building rather than having just a flat roof with, with nothing on top. So if you have a look, that's actually a circle, obviously, but the, the roof sort of moves slowly and gradually goes up at the side here. So it's, I don't know, what's that, about 10 blocks high, and it's about 14 on the other side, I think. So it gradually curves, finding it hard to find a good angle of this while I fly, but actually, as you can see, it gradually curves down towards the left there. So looks pretty cool, the little fishy icon that I created looks pretty cool. Obviously shows that it's an aquarium. Aquarium hotel. All in all, guys, I'm pretty happy with the progress. As I said, I'm going to build out this side and have... I can hear you, Bob. Have another sort of wing of the hotel, perhaps, or have some aquarium exhibits here, maybe. But definitely some aquarium exhibits all throughout under the water out here. But um, I guess what's next is... We get ourselves a couple of turtle eggs. We'll pop some turtles in there. And I think that might have to wrap it up for today's episode. I think it's been been about a week and a half building this thing, guys. As I said, ripping it down and redoing it several times. But so far, really, really happy with what I've done. Let's go get a couple of turtles. Now, I haven't seen any turtles for a while, but I'm assuming there'll be one or two out this way. There's something you don't see every day. Cows and sheep in the middle of the ocean. All right, we found ourselves some turtles, finally. So let's, uh, actually, this is a nice little group of turtles. So let's shreep real quick. Too many levels at risk right now. 930 levels. How many turtles do you think we need, guys? Three? Four, maybe? Surely four is enough. Let's get ourselves a couple of these turtle eggs. And we'll silk touch them and take them back to base. Make babies. You know what, guys? Did I? This is the first time I've done this. I can't actually remember. I might even have turtle eggs. <laughs> I might even have turtle eggs back at the uh, back at spawn now. You just say that. I reckon I have. <laughs> oh, whoops! You never have enough turtle eggs, I guess. They're good for decorations too, actually. So uh, let's get ourselves a couple while we're <laughs> while we're out here. Turtles have to be one of the easiest mobs to breed, I think. After Dealing with foxes and ravagers. 
I mean, this isn't the turtle exhibit, don't get me wrong, guys. This is just a couple of fish and some turtles in a fish tank in the lobby of a hotel. But um, this is one of the easiest mobs to move and breed. I think that'll do it. Seven eggs. Thanks, guys. At least I know where you are now. I may or may not be back. This is new. I don't remember that being there. Wow, look at this view now, guys. Look at the zoo. Really starting to come together. It's looking amazing. Ah, oh, I love this new build too. Really, you are still loud, Bob. Every build has really come together and it's starting to piece together nicely. And I think once I finish the main structure of this aquarium, it's going to really, really set this area off. So, all right, let's get some, uh, I guess, some sand. I need some sand, don't I? So let's get some sand and let's, I guess, play the waiting game and, <laughs> and wait for these, uh, these turtles to hatch. Uh, where did I put my sand? Oh, no. No, it's downstairs. Okay. All right, let me get some sand from downstairs and we'll hatch out some turtle eggs. Oh, I need to sleep again. Now, I'm pretty sure they, <laughs> they hatch better at night time, don't they? So why did I just sleep? Let's do that. And let's make... Um, how many do you reckon, guys? One, two... Go with four for a start. Let's go with four. Four. And I guess... Uh, now we just play the waiting game, don't we? So uh, I'll just be here for a minute. Finally, we got ourselves a couple of little dudes. How cute are they? They don't, they almost don't seem real, do they? They're so tiny. You guys. Oh, what was that? Hello? Uh, yeah, okay, no worries. Oh, <laughs> You're a magic turtle. <laughs> All right, these guys are taking a, a long time. You guys. Need to make it snappy. Go for your little swim. Go on, go on. Oh. <laughs> oh, I feel like a proud dad watching their kid swim for the first time. Oh, and, uh, hello? Oh, there's always one. I guess now we wait again. Okay, so we've got two of the little guys all grown up now, and I've just, I've just realised, um, d do turtles need air? Um, this could be a problem. I haven't left any air in there. Uh, hello? Is this going to be a problem, guys? Do I need an air block? Oh my. I haven't, th I haven't really thought this through, have I? I guess we'll find out. <laughs> I guess we'll find out. This has been pretty time consuming, I guess is the word. <laughs> I didn't mention before guys, but all this copper is actually waxed as well. So um, yeah, that was, um, that was a fun job, but it's something I've been thinking about for a couple of months and I'm so glad I finally made a start on it. And it's, uh, it is a start, but it's looking pretty nice. So all in all, Really, really happy with it. But that's all we've got time for in today's episode, guys. I think we need to come up with a name for this hotel, don't you think? So some kind of cool name for the Aquarium Hotel. If you've, uh, if you've got any cool ideas, please leave them in the comments below. Leave a like on this video. It really helps out the channel. Subscribe if you want to see more videos like this one. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Till another day in Minecraft. See ya!